Hello Internet, welcome back to our Cataclysm tutorial series. Uh, we're going to go to sleep here. Actually, we need our headgear and our blindfold because we never put the rest of the roofs on our vehicle. We're going to go to sleep. Cooled off a bit since the last episode. You know, it's... Uh, so I'm going to continue giving commentary because we're not going to be doing a whole lot of really interesting stuff. Um... You know, it just, it, I, I get down over things, you know, and then they snowball and it feels like nothing goes right. And you know how that can be, right? You, It's just like little things like, you know, you wake up, like I woke up and was like uh, going to record and then it's like, oh yeah, Super Mega Baseball isn't recording right. So that thing I was going to do today is not going to work out. And then I got hit with uh, my family member telling me about the $1,200 mechanic bill. And I actually think it's more like 1300 I don't remember how much was after the 1200 uh, But it was too much money. And, you know, it just feels like everything goes wrong all at once sometimes. And, and you just... Uh, it's hard to focus on anything else, you know. Like, people often, you know, will challenge me and say, Oh, well, you know, there are good things that are happening to you. You know, it's not like everything is actually as bad. It just feels that way. Uh... But, like, no, <laughs> nothing seems to be going right. So here we got a message. Uh, I don't remember if we discussed this previously or if this was an episode in which I cut because we, we were having issues. But we have a dream here about strange, wet, scaly feelings. Um, this is because we are on the fish path of mutation. Apparently, some of the mutations we have are fish-related. So basically what that means is that if we were to take some fish serum, we would cross the fish threshold, which would give us access to post-threshold mutations. So there are multiple trees in Cataclysm. You know, there's fish, spider, I don't know. Uh, there's, a, there's a whole mess of them. Um, and once you get, you can get certain mutations before the threshold, and then there are certain mutations you can only get after the threshold. So once we cross that threshold, that's it. We can't be... If we become a fish, we can't be a spider, um, but then we get the best fish mutate, or a lot of times they're the best mutations um, that come post-threshold. Not super interested in doing any of that. I guess we could just mutate because, I mean, really our game is already not that fun. How much worse could it be? Did I bring, oh my God, I didn't bring the, I didn't bring the mutagen with me, did I? Ah, uh, I don't think I did. Actually, it would be on our medical pile. It'd be a gallon jug of mutagen. Looking for the word mutagen. No, I don't see it here. Did I not bring the mutagen with me? We had like four jugs full of mutagen. I'm definitely not going back for it, but ah, that's so not great. It's not great, internet, to lose that much mutagen. Actually, that pile looked promising. It looks like just random crap. Uh, no, no, just random materials. Not actually... Yeah, I think we, unless it's in beverages, which would be weird. Yeah, I think we left our I think we left our mutagen back at base and I'm definitely not going back for it. Well, that is That's great. That's really that's great. Food maybe? No. Okay. Yep, so we lost all that mutagen we had. I was just going to take some because why not? But uh I guess I didn't bring it with me. Oh well. Okay. We need wood panels, which I don't think you can craft. Panel. You can craft wood panels. Not, it makes one wood panel out of eight planks. That's a ridiculous number of planks. Uh, it's plywood. I mean, I guess we don't know how big it is. It says it's five inches. That's, uh, that's probably not right. Um... Eight planks. Okay, well, we're not going to do that. We're just going to go back into town to harvest new ones. And we'll just head back over to town. Probably should open the curtains when you drive. Fun fact. We'll head over to town here. 
Uh, skill in driving has increased to six. Oh, joy. Um, driving does increase pretty easily. You'll see our focus is trending down very quickly. Um, very, very quickly. Like several seconds, uh, it goes down multiple points. This is not because we're hot. It's the only thing I can think of is that technically by driving, we're gaining driving skill, so it's tanking. But you'll see in the time we drove, which took us maybe, I don't know, a minute uh, to drive over here, we've actually decreased our focus. Oh, this is not where I want to stop. We've decreased our focus by almost th over 30 points. So, yeah, we've talked about focus not really being... You hear smash. I see a Z9. What, uh, nothing is affecting our morale. So here it says our focus trends towards 100, which is obviously misleading because we're dropping down to 60. Man, that's frustrating. Like, why is that happening? Uh, is it just because we're gaining driving experience? Because that is not a valid amount to lose over the course of just a few minutes. Lyle, how are you doing? Not yet. I need you to come with me. Why were you follow? Oh, you were going to attack that rattlesnake? Leave the rattlesnake alone, Lyle. Live and let live. I would like to uh, know more about your abilities. My dog hears another dog outside. So the thirst is still pretty substantial. Do we still have that in our inventory? We do. So we're just going to force feed Lyle some more water here. I would like you to use this item. And we'll just pump him full. So basically we fed him about a half a liter or a half a gallon yesterday. And now we've fed him about a th third of a gallon. So you would think it's decreasing now. It wasn't doing this before. We were trying to do this before and he would not eat or drink. So it's nice. See, now I told him to come with me and he stopped in place. I'm getting really... Okay, dog. I'm getting really frustrated by the NPC at this point. Lyle, uh, guard this position. See you around. Okay. And then talk to him. I need you to come with me. Getting real annoyed by this. W what are you doing, Lyle? I don't understand. Not yet. I would like you to... Go to this location. My current location. Affirmative. He's now following me again. I don't understand what you're doing, Lyle. Guard this position. He's... What are you doing? I, I have no idea what he is doing. It's infuriating. Can we yell at him? Talk to Lyle Darden. I need you to come with me. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I don't know what's going on with him, but it's making me mad. I'll be honest. Getting real, real irritated. <sighs> He's still thirsty, and he keeps talking about being thirsty. I don't know what to do about this, Lyle. But you're really getting, you're really, really starting to annoy me, Lyle. And my dog won't stop barking even though I just fussed her and told her she was bad for barking. Because she doesn't listen because we didn't get her from a pup. So the guy who raised her was just an abusive piece of trash. And she never learned what proper behavior was because she would get beat for everything. So like now she doesn't know what is acceptable behavior and what is not. Uh, I want you to use this item. And even if I go fuss her and tell her that's bad, we don't bark. She seems like, honestly, she's one of the dumber dogs we've ever had. So I don't know that she, like, and I say that I like this dog and I love my dogs, but she's, she's not, she's not a smart dog. Uh, okay. He appears to be full. Let's go. Let's check his M check his he's still it, it looks like his underfed went up i don't i don't understand what is happening with these stupid npcs and it makes me furious i don't get it 
this sh this should be intuitive honestly like this should not be like pulling teeth out of my head to get the ends okay guard this position i'm on watch see you around you still have a gun don't wander off you stupid stupid man go ahead and eat some food here oh good they fixed the menu so it stays open now and we are satisfied. They did change and now we're full even though it said satisfied. Um, they did change. Where's Lyle? He. Wh Where's Lyle? What, what is going on? Why is he doing this? What are you doing? I'm going to save the game. I'm going to murder Lyle. So I can feel better about myself. My feet failed me. Arms don't fit. I don't understand what's happening. I don't know why you didn't die in one shot. Because we hit him for a significant amount of damage. Uh, I didn't actually want to kill him. I'm just frustrated and thought I would feel better if I murdered him. Reloading the game might also clear whatever his orders were. So like... I don't get why he moved over here. I need you to come with me. Let's go. We're going to lock him in the car. Leaving him outside is obviously he has the attention span of a squirrel. So I think what is happening. Get in the fuck. Close the door. Stop walking away from me, Lyle. Okay. Fully sealed. I think what is happening is that he's stupid and he's seeing things. So he's going away. Guard this position. See you around. We're going to hang out for a minute. He's still there. Okay. Oh, it's infuriating, Internet. I don't know how you would feel about this, but this makes me want to murder him. I don't get why people even play with these stupid NPCs. They bring so little value compared to... I'm just annoyed, okay? I, I don't want to... Again, this was somebody's work. Somebody put work into... Can't deconstruct a desk, huh? Too dark to construct. Ah, yeah, I forgot. Uh, let's pop. This window should be safe because it's relatively uh, blocked off by the other buildings. Like, I know somebody worked really hard, probably, making the NPCs. But, man, I just... It drives me crazy. They're so stupid. And it's infuriating. We're probably going to need more planks anyway for... Oh, it's dark in here. I don't want to open the front windows. I guess if we open and just stand like here, there should be enough light. Too dark. I'm, I'm right next to a lit tile. Of course not. Okay, so we'll stand here. Whatever, it's on an angle, so we should still have some like lower amount of exposure. I don't even know if bookshelves gives wood panels or not, but they probably should. They don't. Of course not. Why would it? I mean, what's on the back of the bookshelf then? It's just wood planks. It has no back to it. It's literally just like a a shelf. It's not actually like a proper bookcase. Like my bookcase has a uh, has a back to it. Internal combustion fundamentals. I don't need computer sciences. What else would give? Maybe dressers. I don't know. Same thing. Uh, a dresser would be planks probably, but they have like a wooden panel back, right? They do not. So this is uh, the other thing I was talking about. Clear your filter. This is the other thing I was talking about, uh, about how I get frustrated by oversights. So what I think probably happened here is that they added uh, wood panels a while ago. And they didn't really think like all, all about what needed to have a wood panel. So for instance, a dresser obviously has it in, it's enclosed. So the back is sealed up with a wood panel, right? So it's odd to me that it only gives planks. So that's probably just an oversight. Probably someone was like, ah, I'll just add wood panels to a bunch of stuff that I think makes sense and then they didn't actually go through item by item and kind of think what all would require wood panels. So at least the tables do. 
We're going to need a fair few of them, so we're going to deconstruct all these coffee tables. Sorry, Internet. Like I said, just, uh, just salty, you know? It seems like every day when I expect to get work done or I'm feeling good about myself, the universe comes along and is like, <laughs> murder's having a nice day. How can we ruin that? It's like, it's like, uh, you ever play D and D and had a DM who was like, I'm going to kill a character today. And like nothing, like it's, it, that's bad DM behavior. Don't get me wrong. That is not how it should be. Um, but you ever had, had something like that where you're playing and they're like clearly out to get you. Uh, it feels like that. It feels like, so here's the thing. In general, you shouldn't talk about religion on the internet. And we're not going to get into specifics. That gave two panels? We're not going to get into specifics because I don't want to alienate people. There are a lot of people who don't believe in a god. I don't know if I believe in god. I uh, have a lot of experience with Christianity, specifically. I don't need a lot of this garbage. Because um, I spent time in a church as a teenager... Entertained at one point going to Bible college, you know, I was pretty into it Not so much anymore, right? I, I don't know how I feel about God if there is a God. I don't know Okay, so don't so don't ask me for specifics, but there have been times in my life where I absolutely felt like um, Someone something some divine power was looking out for me. There are moments in my life where I think I could have died but I was protected by what otherwise seemed like a completely random, ridiculous thing that like, it's just so specific that it's like, how could that have been a coincidence? And it actively saved my life, right? So I have these moments and there are probably three or four of them in my life where I felt so confident that like God had reached out and protected me. And again, I also have a history of mental illness and hallucinations and hearing things. So maybe take that with a grain of salt because I don't really know. Okay. And I'm not saying God spoke to me or whatever. It's just that feeling of like someone is looking out for me. I should not have made it through this situation, but I was protected. That is how I have felt in my life at, at varying stages of my life. So I have felt that. I have felt that. And believed that and felt so confident and grateful that that was a divine intervention. There are also times in my life where every little thing seems to be like out to get me. Like I, I, it's just funny to me that I get the stimulus package. I convince myself that it's okay to buy something for myself. And then after I've placed the order, but I haven't even gotten the product yet. I get a bill from my mechanic for per about precisely the amount that I got the stimulus check for. And it just feels like, did you just want to take something away from me, universe? Like, were you, did you see that I got $1,200 and you thought, nah, he doesn't need that. We're going to take this thing from him that he thought was going to ease some of his burden and anxiety by being more comfortable because he has money. We're going to take that away from him. And it just feels so pointed like it's it's directed at me like I'm doing something wrong and the universe is trying to punish me and I don't know what I'm doing but it feels like it's my fault I feel like I am doing something wrong and I'm being punished that is how I feel every everything I try to play on the channel <laughs> doesn't record and I feel like I'm being actively punished like no one else has these issues I see people on YouTube who have no experience and know anything. They buy the same product I buy. They have a worse computer than me and all they do is plug it in and everything works for them. But for me, it's been pulling teeth for over a year to scrape out just what little bit I can. And I know, like I said, I know that people don't like hearing about it. I know people are like, I'm here to be entertained. I don't really wanna hear about your problems. But it just feels so much like I'm being targeted by the universe, like the universe just hates me so much that it's trying to tear me apart and it's hard to shake that and I know that some of that is my paranoia some of that is my mental health issues some of that is just because I've been abused and I've spent my whole life being conditioned to believe that it's my fault that I'm doing something wrong and I know that those are irrational thoughts bad things happen and it's not necessarily because of something you do 
right? Like I, uh, I have some pretty significant stomach issues that we discuss on a pretty regular basis. Obviously, people don't get sick because of something they did. It just happens. But there are weeks when it feels like everything I try to do is undercut by the fact that I have stomach problems. So like, you know, what back when I first started streaming, basically every time I streamed, I would get really sick. And it was like, are you trying, is the universe trying to tell me I shouldn't be streaming? Is it just a coincidence? Like, what have I done to deserve having my stomach feel like it's being ripped apart at all times, you know? And it's so hard not to take that as like a sign from the universe. Um, maybe that sounds stupid. I don't know. It really, it, it it's something I think about, you know? Man, these panels are huge. Uh, how many do you want to move? I can't move all 10. It can only accommodate... Oh, they're only 30 liters. I was looking at their weight and thought they were uh, 330 liters. I was like, man, that's enormous. Okay, how many of these can we fit? 48. Okay, and we'll put the remainder. No, this is not. No. Oh, we're going to go here. Sorry, I hiccuped. Move the planks. 20. And we will pick up all the nails. I don't know how many nails we have at this point. 360. So we have enough nails to do it. I think we're still short uh, wood panels. So we're going to go look for something else that might have wood panels like this table. Uh, nope. D. Nope. I lost the... There we go. Deconstruct furniture. We're going to get this faction camp built, internet. I know it's taken time. I know. Uh, and I know a lot of you just want it to be done, but it is what it is. It needs to be done. I do think that dressers and bookshelves should both contain wood panels. Problem is if we do that, then anytime people want to build them, they have to get wood panels. And I don't think people really want to do that. Uh, our inventory is quite full. Let me come out here and drop wood panel. Wood panel, wield the SIG, should have never wielded that. Um, and we're going to check this basement because we didn't do that before. No. Inflatable boat. That's cool, but I don't want it. Chicken, get out of here. We're going to check the basement, see what we've got going on. Uh, it looks like the rec room basement, probably. So, like, I think the pool table will be in here. Okay, why are you not aiming at the Zambi? Okay. Yes, the rec room basement. Really nothing down here. There's a lot of surfaces we could use for wood panels. Um, but there's nothing of significance in the realm of loot. Paper wrapper of deluxe sandwiches. What is what is a deluxe sandwich? Deluxe sandwich. A sandwich of meat, vegetables, and cheese with condiments. That does sound really good. I had uh, two poorly cooked sausages for dinner. Let's eat the... Oh... Come on. So they're lactose intolerant. Why? Meat, vegetables, and condiments. Oh, it has a piece of cheese on it. Ugh. I can eat cheese. I'm large I'm I have lactose intolerance. I can still eat cheese, internet. You know? I mean I wouldn't eat like a full yogurt or anything, but I can eat a slice of cheese on a sandwich. I like cheese. Um, and of course, in Cataclysm, it's an all or nothing. There's no, you know, if we ate that, we could get sick. We'll give it to Lyle. I mean, it's a fair amount of calories. And we'll just haul these. I don't know. I think we might have enough to do this. So we'll head back. It's weird. Our focus actually went up when we stopped driving. I guess because... I guess because the driving was sapping our... Okay, no. I want to... Wood panel spot. There we go. And we'll just move those. And I, I don't know if we have enough or not. We're going to go back anyway. I definitely close this. And we will go back. And I think we have just enough wood panels that we should be able to do this. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I don't remember what we fed Lyle. Maybe we didn't give him high calorie foods. But these have good calorie counts to them. So we'll force him to eat those. And then we'll give him some more clean water as well, trying to get that water requirement down. I don't understand why our camp was completely emptied of calories. 
I got to figure maybe it's because we left. And when we left, we're not in the right spot. When we left, maybe like bandits were simulated and they stole our stuff. I really can't think of any reason why the calories would have disappeared like that. Um, where is Dardenville? A little bit further. And we're going to kind of park this up here because we're going to be constructing. And I'm concerned if we construct... No, stop. Stop driving. If we construct when the vehicle's there, it might overwrite our vehicle with... Uh, by placing stuff underneath of it or on top of it or whatever. Lyle, go ahead and eat this sandwich while I'm thinking about it. Uh, I need you to come with me. I want you to use this item. Deluxe sandwich. Thanks, that hit the spot. Bam. Thanks, that hit the spot. Show me your abilities. You are even more underfed than you were before. I'm I'm like I'm so done with this stupid NPC. I'm so done. Let's go, Lyle. You stupid mother and now he doesn't want to come with me again. I'm getting so sick of this. What am I doing? Okay. Internet. I'm recording this on Thursday. I have no idea what the date is, but basically the Thursday before you see this probably. Um Leave me a comment. What am I doing wrong with this NPC? Like, some of you surely play with NPCs. Surely someone out there understands this better than I do. Why is he not following me when I tell him to follow me? Why is his thirst and hunger not going down? Why is he dumb as a mother... Like, why is he so stupid? I've already asked on it on Discord. I got no valuable feedback. Um, you know, some people made suggestions, but they didn't work. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do and why this guy is so annoying that I, I, I don't know how to do this. And I'm getting very frustrated. Why is he not coming with me? I just told him to come with me. Not yet, Lyle. Why don't you guard this position? Goodbye, Lyle. Okay. Come with me, Lyle. What? No, I'm not leaving. Uh, because they changed the stupid order. And he's not following me. What the fuck, Lyle? I'm so sick of this. God damn it. Okay. Give me our wood. Wood panels. Move 10 wood panels. Move 48. Don't do the planks. We already have enough planks. And moving them is going to take time. So just move the panels because we're trying to do this before the daylight goes away clear that filter before we leave so I don't forget about it and it's already going to be sun going down no come on I'm so close you filthy mother okay we didn't make it we didn't make it internet <sighs> drop the nails Check the thing. Okay. We can now set up the shack. There's a bird chirping literally right outside this window. Okay. Build half of a wood panel shack with a wooden roof on the northeast side of camp. We have everything required. It will take one day and three hours. Okay. Do that. You don't have enough food. Oh. God, internet, internet, I'm so furious. Okay, let's um dump more food. Lyle, why are you following me now? You weren't, e oh my God. Stay, become part of this camp, Lyle. I'm so tired of you. I, I want you, I want to assign you to work at this camp. Lyle Darden. Oh, I have no idea what to do here. Clear all priorities. Escape. No current job. See you around. So, is he just going to stay here now? He is. I guess he's like guarding the camp. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's better than him being with me and becoming a source of frustration that makes me want to rip my own eyeballs out. So, let's deposit more food, even though we already did this. Uh, let's do... Um... 
If I auto sort, is it going to auto put food there? Because I don't want it to. Sorted out every possible item. Okay. I want to make sure it didn't auto sort and take my food. It did not. Okay. So what we're going to do, go to our food pile, pull out the MREs we can eat. Cheese tortellini. Can't eat that. Anything else with lactose intolerant stuff in it. Doesn't look like it. Man, ratatouille is delicious. Did we discuss that in this episode, uh, in in this series, or was that one I erased? Because I talked at length about how I really like uh, ratatouille. Uh, we'll take peanut butter candy, the, all the nuts. We'll take uh, some... Well, I don't think oatmeal has that many calories. Graham crackers you can have. Okay. And any other junk food I'd like to get rid of here quickly... I want to give him just the raw stuff because we can convert that into seeds for them to plant later. Chewy candy. Uh, geez, some fruit leather, some cashews, buttered popcorn. Some more fruit leather, I guess. We actually don't have that much junk food on us. Okay, so we'll take that stuff as a start. And, you know, we should really call the episode, I guess. Um, we want to save before we do this anyway because we've encountered seg faults relating to distributing food. So in the next episode, we will distribute this food. Uh, I also wanted to point out that I, when we explored the gas station, I said I was going to pull the storage battery from that RV and then I forgot all about it. I would still like to do that in the future, but it's not really a pressing priority, so I haven't really gone back to do that. So in the next episode, we will try to get some food set up at this camp. Hopefully it doesn't all disappear again. Uh, and yeah, I'm getting I'm getting real salty. I'm trying not to let it impact things, but it's so hard not to, because you bring the energy with you, right? If I wake up and I have a, a lot of energy, I'm feeling great about myself, and I record, you pick that up in the commentary. You pick that up through my behavior. When I'm frustrated, when my personal life is not going so well, you pick that up as well. You bring that energy with you when you record. So... I try really hard to circumvent that. I'm not I'm not good at it. So I'm doing my best, Internet. And I know some of you like it anyway. So that's going to do it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.